Hello, and welcome to another video in our IELTS series. My name is Jo Ridd, and I'm a teacher and teacher trainer at International House London. I've taught hundreds of students who've gone on to take IELTS. The copyright for this video belongs to International House London, and reproducing it in any part is illegal. OK, let's get started. At the end of a part one writing, it's a good idea to include a conclusion. It should summarise the graphs or charts you've written about, or should highlight the final stage in a process. A conclusion gives a coherent end to your writing, and it shows you have a complete understanding of the data or the process. Let's look at the key points that you need to remember when writing conclusions for part one. So, what key points do you need to remember for a conclusion for a part one writing? First of all, the conclusion should be a summary of the trends in the data. If you're writing about a process, the conclusion should highlight the final stage of the process. Secondly, use a discourse marker to show you're writing a conclusion. This helps the reader understand what's actually happening. For a graph or a table, you could end with overall, generally, or to sum up. And for a process, you could end with in the final stage or finally. For graphs and charts, don't explain the data, don't introduce new information, and don't try and give reasons. You just need to summarise. For a process, keep the description of the final stage really simple. One sentence is enough. You only have 150 words in a part one writing, so you don't need to use more than one sentence for the conclusion. OK, let's have a look at some examples so we can see what we've been talking about in action. I want you to read this example conclusion and think about the key points we just looked at. Do you think it's an appropriate conclusion? So what do you think? Well, this conclusion is actually inappropriate because it introduces and includes new information. This information here, in fact, this rose from 300,000 in 2000 to 500,000 in 2015. This is new information and it shouldn't be in the conclusion. It should be in the main body. OK, let's try another one. I want you to look at this conclusion. Do you think it's an appropriate conclusion? So what do you think? This conclusion is also inappropriate uh, because it tries to actually explain the data. This information here, which was probably due to an increase in population, this is the writer trying to explain the data and it's inappropriate in a conclusion for a part one writing. OK, let's try example number three. Read this sentence. Do you think it's an appropriate conclusion? So, what do you think? This conclusion is actually inappropriate because it doesn't indicate that it's a conclusion. It doesn't tell the reader that it's a conclusion. It should start with a discourse marker such as overall, but here it doesn't. OK, let's try example number four. I want you to read this sentence. Do you think it's an appropriate conclusion? So what do you think? This is actually an appropriate conclusion. It's simple, it's short, it doesn't introduce new information, and it doesn't try and explain the data, it merely summarises. Let's look at some common questions students have about conclusions. 
Should I include my opinion? No, don't include your opinion. Just summarise the graph or finalise the process. No opinions. Do I have to write a conclusion? No, you don't have to, but it's a really good way to show that you fully understood the data or the graphs or the charts or the process in full. And it can help you to get a higher mark. Is it more important to include more information in the main body or in the conclusion? Okay, you need to try and include most of your key points in your main body. Don't include any new points in your conclusion. Just have the conclusion as a summary and just make it one sentence so you have enough words for the main body. Okay, so let's review what we've covered. You need to write a conclusion for part one. It can really help to show that you've got a full understanding of everything. You need to summarise the data or finalise a process. You need to show that it's a conclusion using a discourse marker. Keep it simple. Don't introduce new information. And keep it short. One sentence is enough. Good luck and we hope to see you again with another video.